I feel like this is like your your chance to reach out to all these hoes. Yes, it is. How y'all doing? I miss y'all so much. <laughs> I'm so excited to see you tonight. First day, baby. First day, I can't wait. First day. Hello. And welcome to another episode of First Date. With me is your host, Lauren Compton. My guest today is a very funny comedian, and he is a new regular on Kill Tony. Give it up for Cam Patterson. Ah, hell Thanks yeah. for coming on my show. Thanks for having me. This shit hard. I like it a lot. You like it? Hell yeah. Thank you. I'm pretty proud of it, too. Now nah, this shit cool. So this is my menu of questions. Okay. You know, this is first date, so yeah. I'm going to ask you a bunch of dating questions. I say left. I got appetizer questions, yeah. main course, and okay. dessert question. Yeah. Here are some appetizer questions. Do we need a safe word? Nah, that scared me. You asking that, though, is terrifying. <laughs> you asking, did we need it? Now, now I'm scared. I, I just want to make sure tonight. I don't. Oh, nah. Say, okay, uh, okay, I just say uh, pretzels. Pretzels. Yeah. Another food in the bag. Yeah, I just say pretzels if you got All right. Let's... All right. Well, if you say pretzels, then I'm just probably going to keep pushing forward. Yeah, say live. What's your love language? Uh, uh, head. <laughs> <laughs> I like getting my dick so That's my love language. Okay. 100%. Do we have a second love language? Nah, that's it. Anal? No, whoa, whoa. Okay. Pretzels. Pretzels. <laughs> <laughs> pretzels. Pretzels. Nah, uh -uh, hell no. Nah. Head. Okay. Head. All right. What is uh, the first line on your dating app bio? Uh, for for a long time, when uh when uh when Jada when Jada Pink Smith was going through this shit, mm. I just put I'm just here for entanglements. That's all. I, that was it. That's yeah. all I needed. Yeah, but isn't yeah. she still going through shit? Yeah, nah, she's lost her fucking mind now. But when it was really like yeah. the huge thing, when the thing was huge, that's what I had. Yeah, I'm pretty sure time. at this point she doesn't even know Will Smith at all. Nah, she had no idea. She just yeah. wanna fuck Tupac Corpse or something. <laughs> She a, she's a psychopath, bro. She is a psychopath she's for real. She's a crazy person. That's, yeah. That's insane. She's actually going to come out as Tupac. One day. Yeah. yeah. 100%. 100%. That lady's crazy. Um, How many close friends do you have? On Instagram? No. Uh, oh, it's me like in life? In real life. Shit. Uh, besides comedians, like motherfuckers that don't do comedy, like four. Okay. Like four, yeah, yeah. That you text. All the time, yeah. All the time. Yeah. How strong is your meme game? My meme, I don't send good memes. Ever? Uh-uh, yeah, no. Nah. That's a red flag. That's not a red flag. It That's is a red, red flag. flag. What? Memes are... I'm not going to say that. I was going to say something like, this is bad. <laughs> memes aren't gay. Memes are cool, but... And pretzels. I love gay people. Pretzels. And, uh... <laughs> I had just went in the whole loop. Nah, I don't. I don't like. I don't like sending memes. I don't know why. I never really sent memes for real. No. Do you think that uh -huh. you're funny in real life? I'm alright. Yeah. Yeah, I'm alright. I'm a little more special ed than funny. <laughs> you know what I'm, I'm a little more. You feel me? Yeah. Little, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. It takes yeah. you a second. Yeah. We all saw the loop you just went through. I want you seen it. I we tried to it. not say gay, and I said to the saying gay four more times now. <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah, just a little special ed type thing. Do you on on your text messages? Do you have your red receipts on? Nah, uh -uh. nah, I'm a good person. <laughs> you don't need to, you don't need anyone to know that you've read their text nah, message. Nah, I, I also on Instagram. Somebody text me. I always look at it and I send. I mean, I read that motherfucker. You know, but like, you know that that they can still know that you read it. They can still know that I read it. If you unread your message, yeah, that's for you. But they know you've seen it. Oh, for real? Mm -hmm. Well, I thought I was being a good person. Did I just fuck you up or what? You did because yeah. I had no idea. Yeah. So they know. I, they know I saw it. Yeah. They don't go back to being like not seen. Mm -mm. Why the fuck the Instagram give me the option? Because then if you unread it, you can remember to go back and reply. No, the reason I unread it because I didn't want to answer. That's not how it works. Instagram, they some assholes. I know. Damn, a lot of people think I'm just a mean person. Yeah, I just, <laughs> I thought I was doing that to be like, okay, I don't want to talk about this. No, you just left like, but I never how seen many it. people did you just leave oh, on unread? I do that unread? like 40 times a day. Oh, shit. Yeah. How do you date people like on Instagram? Do you like slide into the DMs? Yeah, I be trying to. Right now, I just only OnlyFans models. Okay. Right now, I'm just only only OnlyFans models. Okay. Yeah. What do you look for in an OnlyFans model? A bitch that I feel like I could fuck if she wasn't an OnlyFans model. So like not like kind of a little bit ugly, a little bit. Yeah, medium ugly. Yeah, medium. That's I like my medium type. Ugly. See, medium ugly is dope because it's, yeah. it's easy. I don't mm. need no beautiful bitch. Beautiful bitch need too much. They got too much shit. High going maintenance. On. Yeah. Yeah. You want to go on yachts and boats and shit. You take a medium ugly bitch on a canoe and she going to be happy. 
<laughs> take a, she gonna be happy as shit. She gonna have a good time when I got that canoe. Yeah, how? She take a pretty bitch on the canoe. She gonna mind hair and all this mm. other shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. What's your idea of a first date? Good first date. Uh, we gonna go to um, we gonna go to McDonald's and watch Netflix. Mm. Hell yeah. Because because your love language is head. Yes. Yeah. So just get to it. Right. Um, Fast right food. Away. Really Netflix show. If you get past the first date, then that, that other dates in the future are gonna be better. Cause I'm getting money now. You got to get past step one. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's the trials. What is the longest relationship you've ever had? Oh, uh, like two years. I'm still kind of in one, but not really. That's a red flag. That's not a red flag at all. What do you mean? We know me and her know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? I'm kind of in one, but I'm not really in one. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's a red flag. So how many girls on OnlyFans have you dated? Uh, I ain't date none of them. Okay. How many girls on OnlyFans have you had one night stands with? Uh, like three. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm doing flag. pretty good. Do you talk to any of your exes? Yeah, yeah. When my ex almost died, so I had to talk to her about that. Oh, no. no she ain't die. Yeah. Oh, no. Well, but she good now. She ain't down no move. So now you're not talking to her anymore? Nah, she back. She had a baby on me, so fuck that bitch. Really? I still love you. I look at I still love you. Dang. Bit. Huh? She had a kid on me, though. So your dad? Huh? Your dad? No, no, no. no not, not my kid. She had a kid after we broke up. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I one, thought... I, one day I wanted to go back to her, and then she was like, I got a baby. I was like, you slut. How you gonna chill on me like that? That's fucked up. <laughs> but y'all weren't together. Not at all. Not even close together. Nope. Mm -mm. Still kind of hurt my feelings. Oh. Yeah, well, yeah. you should get used to it because other women that you date are gonna have children later. Yeah, that sucks too. Yeah. It's pretty bad. Do you want kids? Yeah, I do want kids. I want twins. Okay. Well, we don't get to pick and choose. No, nah, yes, we do. It's different. It's 2023, you can pick whatever you want. How? I'm gonna get twins. How are you gonna get twins? It's money. Money gets you twins. Nah. -uh. Yes, you can. Uh uh. You can put you can put you can put different shit in the eggs. Nah, -uh. mm -hmm. they it's don't do that anymore. Why they don't? They don't do that anymore well, the because twins what happens out is, no, up. hold on. See, one of us has been to the doctor and found out the truth. Okay. So if you go and you have these eggs, uh. they don't let you have twins anymore because a lot of times an egg will separate and it will give you twins anyway. So if they put twins in a woman, mm. they can separate and you can have quadruplets. Yeah, that's cool too. <laughs> so you just but they don't do it. They don't allow it. It's illegal. For real. I go to Tijuana. I'm sorry, Cam. Cam, so you want four kids? I don't care. I want I want two kids look exactly like each other. Okay. Or I did. I mean, or, or I want one around the same time. Yeah. I would rather born a girl, or two boys is cool. Okay. I can't do two girls. I was gonna say. No. Well, what happens if you get two girls? My mama gonna raise them. Pretzels. I'll be there though. How clean is your place right now? Oh, it's very clean. Are you a neat freak like OCD? No. It's now just my, clean. My room very clean. Everything outside my room is, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I don't deal with that. I, I live with white people and I'm making them, uh, it's reparations for me when they clean up the house. <laughs> I'm doing it for my ancestors. <laughs> hell yeah. Do you know the names of everyone you've slept with? No, hell no. Nah. Oh. No. Jesus, no. Hard no. Do you know? Yeah. You do? Yeah. You like you would keep a book. I mean, I have a menu. That's great. No, I don't. I don't. Nah, I can't even tell you the last. No, I can't tell you the last food. Okay. Yeah. What are your thoughts on condoms? I uh, I like them. For you? Yeah, condoms cool. Okay, so you use condoms? Yeah, yeah, for yeah, the first round for sure. Ah, okay. And then how many? How, when in a relationship do you take a condom off? Uh, the second round. Okay, because then it's serious. Yeah, then, it, then we made it to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So second base is actually an accomplishment if a girl can get there. Yeah, 100%. Okay. I do wear condoms a lot. I wear all the I wear, I wear like, mom, I wear condoms. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's say that you're dating a girl. Uh -huh. And she comes out in an outfit and mm -hmm. she asks you if she looks fat. Do you answer honestly? Yes. And what if she looks fat? Yeah. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna lie and say her ass look fat. Make her feel better. Yeah. I'm on, I'm on him. Just tell her she looks thick. Yeah, you look thick in here. <laughs> you look thick in here. I like a little thickness. You know what I mean? Thickness is good. <laughs> All right. I like thickness. What turns you off? Oh, uh, oh, uh, no booty. Oh, like a flat. A flat ass. I don't like flat asses. What else turn me off? A bitch tried to bite my ear one time. I ain't like that a lot. That was weird. Yeah, I don't like tongue in my ear. Nah, nah, a bit. If a girl ever try to put a tongue on my ear, it's nah, hell, nah, pretzels. You know what I mean? <laughs> Can't do that shit. 
Yeah, I don't know what the like like a cute nibble on the ear. Nah, I ain't like I ain't, I ain't like that. No, one time one time a girl licked my face. I ain't like that neither. Like your cheek? She was just like. Yeah, she had licked my cheek. You not a cat? What are you doing? You know What's what going on here? Why would she do that? I don't know. It was weird. That shit that that threw me off a lot. And what happened in that situation? I just I off glued you like I'm going home. You just left. I mean, we were fucking in the car, so I was like, I'm, I was right, we was right outside my house anyway. I could just mm. walk inside. You know what I'm yeah. Saying? So it was like that. But I didn't like she had shit. We was laying back and she just lit me on my. I, we, I was already done. I was trying to leave anyway, but she just gave me a quicker exit for sure. Yeah. You know she saying? gave you a hard out. They're like, all right, bitch, you licking me now. It's time to get out of there. I'm not an ice cream cone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Has a girl ever overstayed her welcome with you? Nah, but it's hard to hard host them out. You're welcome. I mean, if, if, you, if you really want to go to sleep, you can go to sleep, but like. Oh, you got a hard out at 7 30. You know what I'm saying? AM? Yeah, AM. Yeah. Unless I really like you, then you get stretched to 10. <laughs> but if I really don't fuck you, yeah, 7 30, you gotta get up out of there. What's your game move? Like, how do you get these girls? Uh, hello, I'm becoming somebody in life. Oh. Fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, my whole thing was, I never was good at talking to women. My whole thing was like, I'm just gonna chase my dreams and they will come. And now they coming. So that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. What are your dreams? Uh, become a really good comedian, just get better. You know what I'm saying? A comment every day. And I'm just I'm doing that every day. So I just as long as I keep doing that, as long as I keep writing and shit, more holes will come my way, and that's cool. Do you write about your relationship? Oh yeah, I do all the time. Every time I have sex with a girl, I kind of be like, yeah, you might. You might make the set. You might make the set. <laughs> I be oh, I'm I'm writing all the time. My thing right now is uh, the problem is a lot of my jokes are about me like. A lot of my jokes are about my life and shit that like was going on in my life. So I am having a lot of sex now, now more. So for the most part, a lot of my new material is just me. Like, this is the bitch I fucked on Wednesday. Mm. And then just going from there. So I, I got to go out and do more shit. But uh, yeah, that's it right now. Are you like a self-deprecating comic? Yeah, I talk a lot about myself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah like talk bad about myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think that it's a turn on for girls with you when you, they date a stand-up comedian that they actually want to be? Talked about on stage. I mean, yeah. I mean, I guess. I'm, sometimes I'm not saying too much nice shit. I tell you that much. Yeah. It's a lot of it's a lot of intrusive thoughts that are being brought up on stage. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, they might not want to hear that. Like I, I had, a, I got a joke right now about it. But this is real strong. And I was talking about. Uh, I talked about on Kitchen. I've been doing it in my sense lately. And she hit me up. And she was like, I wasn't that strong. I was like, yes, you were. <laughs> strong as shit. But I still fuck with you, heaven. We can do it again that time. Is that? I mean, wherever you are, you know where you are. <laughs> I was gonna say what she was. That's not a good idea. Yeah, not on my show. Oh, nah. They'll find you. Yeah, that's crazy. What's the furthest place you've ever traveled to? My mama took me to Hawaii when I was eleven. Mm. Yeah, so Which that's why island? I said I couldn't be a thug. I don't know. Waikiki, Maui. Waikiki sound like a bad bitch. I fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Waikiki. Yeah, yeah. Did you get away a little? Yeah, I mean, I was I was young, so I don't really remember too much. I know I went there though. When's the last? But you're from Florida. I'm from Florida. And now you're here in Austin. Yeah. When's the last time you went out of the country? I don't have a passport. No you more. don't? Not no more. We gotta get you one. I gotta get one soon. I ain't, I ain't leave the country yet. For, Hawaii is still in the country, right? Mm-hmm. That's all. That's us. We we own that, right? Yeah. Oh hell yeah! No, I ain't leave the country yet. I never that's left ours. The country. Yeah, my fault. I ain't never leave the no, country. No, we got it in our pocket. Oh hell yeah, yeah! What What is your favorite book? I like Kevin Hart book a lot. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was very good. I liked it, that one. Oh, uh, what else I like? I like uh that was it. I listened to a Kevin Hart book like several times in my life. Yeah. So that was cool. I like that book a lot. The last time I saw my mom, my mom lives in a different state. Yeah. She had Kevin Hart's C D like yeah. audio book thing yeah. and she was listening to it and I thought that was really cool. Yeah, no, that was a good book. I like that one a lot. We're gonna get into some main course questions now. How much sex is too much sex in a relationship? Two uh six times a day. Six times a day. That's a lot. That is a lot. Yeah. How, what is the most you've ever had sex in one day? Uh, six times. So, th- and that was exhausting. I'm I sure. wanted to hurt myself. I wanted to cause harm <laughs> to myself. I was very. I, so the thing was, there was a girl. I used to work at Foot Locker, and there was a girl, um, who worked Foot Locker with me. And I was, I was like nineteen, and she was like twenty. She was like twenty six, and she knew another girl who was like thirty. And I was like, man, put me on one of your friends. She like, my friends will fuck your life up. And I was like, nah, I fuck their life. I'm a young nigga. I do. I know what I'm doing. Uh, fast forward, I did not. I had no idea. This girl was a uh, nymphomaniac. I picked up and we fought for like, we fought all day. Like all day. And I was like, I was nut. And she was like, let's go again. I'd be like, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> like these aren't, like, these not like no quick, like, you know what I'm saying, 15 minutes. We were fucking for like 30 minutes a piece. 
I was tired. She was ready to go. The thing that pissed me off the most, and I'm taking her home, talking to my son, I'm finna take my daughter to the park today. I said, bitch, you can stand up. <laughs> I can't even, I barely want to take your ass home. <laughs> I hate that. Yeah, nah. I miss you too, by the way. That was a good time. <laughs> now that I think about it. I feel like this is like your your chance to reach out to all these hoes. Yes, it is. How y'all doing? I miss y'all so much. <laughs> This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Around New Year's, we get obsessed with how to change ourselves instead of just expanding on what we're already doing right. Maybe you finally organized one part of your space and you want to tackle the other. Or maybe you're taking your supplements every morning and now you want to actually eat breakfast too. Therapy helps you find your strengths so you can ditch the extreme resolutions and make changes that really stick. For me, one of my New Year's resolutions was to stop living in the past, and BetterHelp has definitely helped me be more present. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Celebrate the progress that you've already made. Visit BetterHelp.com date today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp. H E L P dot com slash date. How many girls have you introduced to your parents? One, two, two. Yeah, my my ex that had a baby on me, and my when my mom met her, she just went, "Do not get pregnant." That's what she said to her. And then my net, the one that we I'm on off with, uh, she met my mama too. But that's it. Yeah. Yeah. What is the furthest extent you would go to get an ex back? To get it back, I buy I buy a bitch a car. Not right now, though. But when like, you make it. Yeah, when I make it, I buy a bitch a car. Like a lemon? What you mean, like, like a dud? <laughs> no, like a, like, a, like a piece of shit car or like a nice car? Oh, it depends it depend how good her, her love language is to me. That's <laughs> <laughs> how it depends on. Fair enough. Yeah. What, what is like the primary reason why girls don't work out with you? Uh, man, I'm just, I'm, I don't know. I'm a good guy at heart. I don't really realize. I don't know. Uh, I might be a little selfish, but I'm just driven by shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I don't got too much time for most 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 people. You think that girls just want more out of you? Like they want more commitment? Yeah. And you don't have it in you? Uh-uh. Nah. I'm going to get married one day, though. Yeah? Yeah. At what age do you think you'll settle down? Uh, 32. Very specific. Yeah. 32. Do you drink alcohol? Yeah. Do you smoke weed? No. Just alcohol? Yeah. Do you, what's your drink of choice? Uh, Tequila and pineapple right now. Hmm. Isn't that like a tequila, is that a tequila sunrise? No, nah, you got to add some other shit for the sunrise part. I just like the dawn. I like regular, <laughs> ass, <laughs> regular ass tequila pineapple. Yeah. yeah I haven't had pineapple in a really long time. That's so funny. For real? What's your go-to drink? I like ranch waters. With okay, hell tequila, yeah. Tequila soda lime. Hell yeah. Yeah. But I haven't been drinking in a while. Hell yeah. Me, I gotta stop. It's unless it's a problem, you know. Not really a problem. I just gotta get back in shape. I got I got more shit to focus on. That's why I stopped drinking. Yeah. Cause I just wanted to get in better shape. And alcohol really fucks with you. It do. It's really hard. I'm gaining so much weight. It's insane. Yeah. Yeah. So I s I haven't I haven't been drinking alcohol because I just wanna I wanna look better. Yeah, me too. You know? Do you cook? Uh, I cook. I cook a mean ad uh thing of ramen noodles. I could uh, cook some cereal, and I know how to make eggs. Okay, what kind of eggs? Scrambled. Do you put cheese in them? Of course. I mean, some people might not. Some nah, people might go might go like raw dog and egg. No, nah, that's disgusting. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's sick. I like salt and yeah. cheese. Salt, cheese, pepper, a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cook some bacon first. Yeah. Put some bacon in them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like eggs. Eggs is cool. That's, but I can't cook real good, but I know how to cook eggs. I just learned how to cook pork chops. Random. That's actually kind of hard to do. No, nah, I know how to do it. I like pork chops. Yeah. I don't cook me some pork chops. I cook pork chops. What is your, if you were to door dash food for a date night, mm -hmm. what would you get? Uh, You've already taken her to McDonald's. All right, this is number McDonald's. two. It's number two. We had the crib now. Uh, door dash. Uh, probably Wendy's. Wendy's. Yeah. What is your what is your favorite four thing? Four for four. Gotta get a four for get a four for four. 
Then you got, they ain't been to Wendy's so long. I'm, see, first of all, I'm finally getting money in my life so I can go to Wendy's and get some number shit, which is dope. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I ain't never, I got to do that. I, I'm going to do that today. I ain't never go to Wendy's and get nothing from the number. I never got no number shit from Wendy's, ever. What do you mean? Why? I, I, I was broke. You only go to Wendy's for four for four. That's it. Okay. I, I, that's crazy. I just realized that I never got no from, I got to go to Wendy's today. Yes, you do. Yeah, I'm going to get something for, yeah. So I would get, I, but I would get her four for four. She's going to get a double stat. She gonna get uh with uh with sweet and sour sauce and uh and a uh and a, a pie ready to drink. That's what she gonna get. That's my order from from uh from. So Wendy. you're ordering for her. Yeah. She doesn't have. Nah, she gonna like options. it. Options. She gonna like the double stack. Double stack. Oh, you ever had double stack from Wendy's? Uh, no. Double stack. Good. I like French fries and a frosty, and yeah. then I dip the French fries in the frosty. I do that too. I like that. It's like sweet and salty. Yeah. If I make a little bit extra money, I would get me a frosty too. Yeah. I would broke it here. Damn, I got to go to Wednesday. They got shit. They, they always had the pretzel buns and shit. They do? I would always see it, but I would never buy that shit. Today's the day. Today, I'm buying Wednesday. Yeah. Hell yeah. Damn. Sounds like you're going to have a fun time. Shit going to be dope. Do you get jealous easily? Nah, not really. I can care less. If you choosing, you choosing. <laughs> I don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? So you don't care at all? Nah, not really. Okay. Yeah. How how do you pick a girlfriend? Like someone to be with you gotta, exclusively? Uh oh, you gotta be a lot, you gotta just be locked in with me. You know what I'm saying? Understand like what I got going on, my goals and shit, and then I just be just locked in. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Yeah. That's it. Do you think that when you're in a relationship, if you're loyal, you're loyal, or do you stray? Oh, right now, right now, the, the reason I'm not in a relationship with my lady right now. It because I'm trying to get all this shit out of my system. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And then you're going to go back? Yeah. What if she has a kid? So she's not going to do that. This, this one's different. This one's, this one's solid. The first one <laughs> wasn't solid enough. She had a baby on me that was fucked up. Yeah. This one right here, she ain't going to do that. But if she's so solid, then why do you have to get other shit out of your system? Because I'm still a, a whore at heart. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? I still get, I just, my, I ain't never really, I ain't never really get the fuck a lot in high school. I was never one of them kids. You know what I'm saying? Right. I ain't, I ain't never had no game for real. A whore at heart. That's yeah. a red flag. Ah, uh, why you count? You count my red flags. I am counting your red flags, and you're oh, and I'm shit. being very nice to you by not counting all of them. I got a lot more. Of course you do. Damn. What's a deal breaker? Uh, baby. Yeah. A baby. I feel that. I can't. I can't be no stepdad. Mm, that'd be hard. It'd be tough. You know what I'm saying. What do you think is the key to a good relationship? Uh, communication and uh threesomes. Threesomes. Yeah. Have you ever had a threesome? No, but I, that's why I'm not in the relationship right now. Because you're out there grinding. 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 And working out and working real hard. Yeah. Threesomes would be cool though. Like in a relationship, I think threesomes would be a good thing for a relationship. Yeah? Yeah. Why? With a lady though, with two ladies. I was going to say, like you and a yeah. friend and nah, a girl. No, nah, hell no. Nah, no. Nah. This, my, this, this is my lady. It's two ladies. Two ladies. Yeah. For you. Yes. Yeah. It could still happen. That's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to get across in her mind. Just look to the camera and tell her what he want. I mean, she's she going to see this. She's going to be very <laughs> mad about this, too. But she's not going to like this at all. None, none of this I've said so far. I'm not going to get no good reports back on these at all. <laughs> but she understands, and we. I love you. <laughs> that smile says a lot. <laughs> um, What's your favorite sport? Basketball. Do you play basketball? I play basketball in high school. Have you ever seen that movie Love and Basketball? Yeah. I love that movie. It's a great movie. That is such a good movie. It's a good ass movie. Um, what about baseball? Ah, uh, baseball's great. I ain't I was never really good at baseball. I played baseball when I was a little kid and I could never hit the ball. Mm. But I was the fastest on my team because I played with a bunch of white people. So they thought I was like Usain Bolt. You know yeah. What I mean? <laughs> like I ain't never seen a nigga this fast before. And then I went to all black middle school and them niggas was fat. They made fat people look not fast. That's a comment said that one time, but that's so funny to me. But yeah, them niggas was fast as shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you hold the door open for a date? Oh yeah, I hold the door for everybody. For my for women, for for sure. My grandma taught me that. Let's as a say kid. that you hold the door open yeah. and your girlfriend goes through and then other people start going through. I hold the door. You just hold the door? Yeah, I'm telling you, my grandma when I was a kid, uh she would at first she ain't even she just trained me. I was just trained as a child. She wouldn't even touch the doorknobs. She would just go to the door, stop me, just look at me. <laughs> and I, at first, she wouldn't even tell me what to do. I would just look at her. Like, what are we doing? We just we just stopping at these doors. And after a while, she was like, nigga, you get the door for, for women. I was like, oh, okay, say that. And I've been, I've, then my mama saw me do that, and she caught on to nonsense. I, my, my, no, my, no woman in my life holds doors. Mm. No, woman, no one around me holds doors. Don't, don't touch no door you around me. 
Do Shout you out my grandma. open car doors? Grandma. Yeah, I walk. Well, I, I mean, not really. I don't, I don't really drive too much. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can still open someone's door even if you're getting in like an Uber or something. Nah, she got that. Yeah. Why? Why? why I don't know. It's just how it is. Yeah, I open. I open doors. Doors, though. Yeah. Car doors is different. You on? I, I gotta walk all the way around. Open your goddamn door. I can hit that motherfucker like this for you. I can get in first and touch that motherfucker for you. Open over the inside. Well, you should start practicing opening car doors. It's well, my very grandma sweet. never taught me that. Well, you can still learn. <laughs> um, I love it when a guy opens my car door. Car door. You yeah, don't like regular doors? He opens regular doors too. Oh, what's that? But car doors too. Oh, cause the extra mile and shit. I don't. Yeah, I mean, it actually does go. I mean, it would for sure add to your love language. Yeah. Oh, it would. Oh, yeah, it would. It probably would. You I know. Think about that. Yeah. Whatever, it, whatever it can make my love language, them do better on my love language than that. That'll yeah, help. Yeah. The, the more that you put yeah. out, uh huh, the more they will put out mm -hmm. for you. My love you language. You scratch their back, they scratch. Yeah. Your dick. No, I'm not scratching. Please don't scratch it with your feet. Please don't. <laughs> Let's Please. say that you're into a girl and she's like in love with you, but uh, you're not really feeling it. Uh -huh. How do you get out of that situation? I just don't answer the phone. You're a ghoster. Oh, I ghost like a motherfucker. That's a red flag. Oh, it's not out. Ghosting? You're saying that the key to a good relationship is communication. Yeah, but if you like me, I don't like you. You don't got to communicate at all. We don't got to talk ever again. But she loves you. Not love. You like me. You like the idea of me. Infatuated. You infatuated with the idea of me. You don't like me for real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even show you all of me. How you love me? I don't show you me yet. You know what I'm saying? That'd be crazy. How That'd do be absurd. You, how do you know when someone is really into you? Mm. I don't know. I, I can just kind of tell. When somebody really like me, I can kind of tell. Yeah. Yeah. What is that? What if they hate fast food? Then they ain't gonna be with me. <laughs> they gotta get past the first two steps. Yeah, McDonald's and then Wendy's. They go McDonald's because you gotta. If you fuck with me, you gotta. You gotta. You gotta start where I started to get the one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like my lady, we had we just went to dinner because she started where I started. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I took her to a real steakhouse and shit because she started where I started. So she earned the level to get. Yeah, you, know you earned it. Yeah. So That's nice. You, well, at first, when you start fucking with me for real, you gotta start where I start. You go from McDonald's to Wendy's to Chick Fil A. Mm-hmm. We take her to Chipotle. Oh shit! Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I take you at a Red Lobster. You feel me? You go, I I see where you're going with this. You go, yeah, keep going up till yeah. you get the goddamn all the way to goddamn Salt Bay restaurant. You yeah. feel me? When he do that goddamn. Yeah. Yeah. That's when that's when you know you made it. Yeah. When you know I really fuck with you. You get the goddamn <laughs> little salt on your mouth. That's when you know I fuck with you. you know I mean? <laughs> that's when you know. Yeah, shit. <laughs> and then when you go to those restaurants, do you let them order whatever they want? Yeah, no. Nah. So what do you order for the girl at a steak, steak restaurant? You get steak. You get steak. What yes. kind of steak? T bone, uh, uh, fillet. Whatever. Well, she whatever steak she wants, but she get it. It's a steak for sure. Mm -hmm. Get a steak and then um, medium. I learned. I learned. Shout out Tony Hill Club. He take me to steak <laughs> house and shit. I learned to not get some steak well done. That's 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 uh that's not good for your steak. I get my steak medium now. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like my medium rare. That's it. I gotta let it bleed a little. That's disgusting. If it's if I can touch it and it kind of bounces back up a yeah. little bit. You wanted to bark at you a little bit? Mm. That's sick. Yeah. Mm -mm. I don't like that. It better give me a little move. No, uh uh, no. Mm mm. I want that bit to be dead, dead. Yeah. They're dead. Yeah. I like eating steak. I can never be vegan. No, me neither. Uh uh. Steak's good protein. Did you know that Parmesan is good for your dick? What? What you mean, huh? It helps your uh, the strength of your dick. Wow, for real? Parmesan cheese will make your dick stronger. Really? 100%. Is it true? I promise. I'm going to go buy me some Parmesan. <laughs> it doesn't sound like you need it. but I know, but I'm going to give you some. If you, get, if you can get stronger, you get, you get the motherfucker stronger. It's true. Yeah, why would I? It's like I, protein for your penis. That's crazy. I ain't never about that. I but it's got to be good Parmesan. You can't go get that cheap shit. Well, you got to eat it in the light. Would you, would you shred it up or would you eat blocks of it? I mean, that just depends how strong you want your dick to be. I'm going to eat blocks of that shit. <laughs> dick yeah. game strong. Strong as shit. Um, let's say that you're in a movie theater and the people in front of you are being loud and obnoxious. Yeah. What do you do? I leave. You don't even finish the movie? Nah, I'm scared. I don't go to movies too much no more. Mm. I don't know. What about confrontation? You don't tell them to shut the fuck up? I ain't no confrontation with guy, man. I'm a little dude. You know what I'm saying? My, my fighting days is over. 
<laughs> once I've been in 10 fights, one, three of them, I'm done. Dang. You know what I'm saying? They were big people though. I wanted to listen. They were big. They were close, but I ain't win. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna count taste them dude. We well, still have such a pretty face for being in ten fights. Oh yeah, you know, you know, I we I buy them weed real good. Dodging. They just they, niggas pick, they get a hold of me. I'm small. I'm, I'm petite dude. Yeah, you, you know just roll up like a roly poly. Yeah, people get a hold of me. It's a different story. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Would you ever fight a guy for a girl? Nah, hell no. Nah, you can have that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> hell no. If I gotta fight you for you can have it. I don't. I don't need that bad. Never. Mm -mm. What if you're really, really, really into a girl and you're at a bar and a guy's flirting with her? Yeah. Moving in on your territory. And is she flirting back? Yeah. You had that bitch. <laughs> she is for you. You know what I mean? What if a guy's not, what if she's not flirting back? Uh, this shit move back to me. Yeah. She'll come back my way. And but she, if, if he flirting with her, she'll be like, I'm over here with him. Yeah. I'm over here with buddy. And then they'll, he'll, he'll, you know what I'm saying? He'll, he'll catch the drift. If you don't catch the, the drift, I hang around a lot of bigger people. Like when I'm back home, I hang around a lot of big dudes. Yeah. Right? So if you don't catch the drift, they're gonna let you, they're gonna let you know what the drift is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't gotta fight no more. Yeah. I got, I got you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I rang around real murderers. Not murderers, they're good people and they don't murder nobody, but they big guys. Okay. I just had to say that into the camera. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's still a red flag. How that a red flag? Well, you know, you're hanging out with murderers. Good people. What if you're dating a girl and she Looks at your Instagram and you're uh, following too many girls, but you really like this one, and she says that you have to unfollow some other girls. No, nah, that's stupid. No. Uh, You'd rather let the bitch go. No, nah, I won't let her go. My 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 girl, that my not, it's not my girl, had did that. I unfollowed some people, but then we had broke up again. I, I followed them back. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh, it's pretty easy to do. Yeah, it's not hard to do. I mean, it's, at that point, it's like, ah, yeah, you'll be, you'll be okay. fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, we'll move on to my dessert question. First, would you consider yourself romantic? Yeah, I'm very romantic. Yeah. What is the most romantic date you've ever planned for someone? The one I just took my girl on with her steakhouse. Yeah. Yeah. Did you did you guys Uber? Nah, my dog Bobby took us. Your what? My dog Bobby. I got a homeboy named Bobby. Okay. Bobby took you guys, yeah. like a driver. Yeah, Bobby do everything. Bobby do it all. Did you guys have alcohol there? Like nah, not really. I had a show after that, so I don't really drink for my show. She did, dude. Yeah. Yeah. That's sweet. What'd you guys do after? Did she, she go with you to she your went show? To my show yeah. And then what? That was it. Did you go home with her? Yeah, and my girl, my lady. Okay. Yeah. That is cute. It was I had a good time. It was fun. I enjoyed it. When's your birthday? April tenth. April tenth. My dad's is the twentieth. Um, do you not that that even matters, but do you feel like uh signs? Not really. Play a role. Cause people, people always be like, "Oh, you every that mean you you angry." I'm not angry. I'm just small. That little man syndrome. Every every nigga that's small angry. Yeah. That ain't just cause of signs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm just I just want to be six three in my heart sometimes, and I I get mad a little bit. Yeah. You know, <laughs> but that's not cause I'm angry. It's cause I'm I got I'm, I got little nigga syndrome. Yeah. Well, as you could say, little guy syndrome, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's it. It's not. That's all it is. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Man, no, I, I have so it. many questions that I could ask you. It's so fun asking you questions. Do you feel like, like, what makes a girl a bad bitch? Bad bitch, a uh, fat ass attitude, and uh, and uh, that's it. What if you meet a girl that's just like so sweet? I like uh, sweetness. You gotta be, you gotta be, you gotta be down to earth a little bit. You can't just be all the way up in your head. Yeah, the crazy person. Like my lady, my lady. That's not my lady right now. That's my lady. She uh, your lady. That's not your lady right now, but your lady. Yeah. It's a lot. That's for, a red flag. My fool, but it's a lot. Uh huh. But she uh is, is is in school to be a nurse, and she tell everybody that she's gonna be, and she's she's really smart, very smart person. She's in school to be a nurse, but her main goal is to get her degree as a goddamn decoration. Oh, like wall art. Yeah, cause she don't want to use it. Mm. Cause, cause she wants someone to take care of her. Yeah, this nigga. I guess you have a job to do if I you got really a lot love to do. her. Yeah, I do love her, and I want twins, so we got to go to Tijuana for that now. I guess. I guess. Or you just try and try and try until you have twins. Yeah, but she's not a twin. I'm not a twin. It's going to be hard. It is going to be hard, but you never know. Well, I just got to find a girl that is going to be twins and we don't have to bring it to a relationship. Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm sure you can manipulate the system somehow. Oh, yeah, it's going to be manipulated. You seem pretty savvy. <laughs> yes. Oh, my gosh. This time has just flown by. Shit, been fun. I like it. Where can people find you? 
You can find me at uh at uh Cam so funny on Instagram. Uh, you can find me on uh on YouTube at Cam Patterson, and you can find me uh, every Monday on Kid Tony. Uh, with my dog, with my home, my, my big brother Tony Hinch Club. Uh, you can also find me. I got a new show coming out called Cam and the Whites. That's coming out. And then uh, if you looking for uh porn stars and uh, OnlyFans models, I got recommendations on Twitter. Okay. I don't even post on that. I just follow them. Are bitches. we doing ratings? Like, are you nah, rating? Nah, none of that shit. No. I just, whatever I like, you can go see what I like. It's over there. And you share their profiles? Hell no. Nah. So how do they know? All you got to do is click on who I follow. Ah, okay. Uh-huh. And then they can see they the They can only see all, all my, I got some ugly ones, some cute ones. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Some, all, I got all of it over there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I will recall your red flags. It's one of my favorite things to do. I haven't had someone with a laundry list of red flags in a long time. For real? First of all, you don't send memes. What's wrong with that? I mean, a meme is like a a form of communication. If I send you a meme, I'm like telling you something really funny. And if you don't respond, that's ghosting. Not ghosting. I laugh. Inside. Yeah. Ha ha. Funny. Yeah. Send a couple you, yeah, you're like the double click, yeah. like heart. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a red flag. Which also leads me to another red flag. You're a ghoster. <clears throat> you said you are. I am. I do ghost people, yes. So you're lying. But I ghost, you know what I'm saying? Which is another red flag cam. That's a lot going on. I, gotta, I can't mm-hmm. text everybody back. Well, we've learned now that if you unread a message on Instagram. Yeah, that sucks. Because a lot of people going to be mad at me about that one. Yeah. I do that shit all the time. <laughs> real. And you're kind of in a relationship? Yeah. I mean, at least you're honest about it. I'll give you like a pink flag, like a shade of red. Yeah, yeah. We, she know what's going on. She gonna see this and be very upset, but I love you. <laughs> you're a whore at heart. I love you. <laughs> and you hang around good people. Good who people. Might also. No, no. Mm-mm, good people. They're just good people. They're good people. All right. They're just strong, good people, and they may or may not have guns, but we live in, we, they live in Florida, so we're fine. Okay. 100%. Cam, no you're awesome. I'd love to have you back on my show. I'd love to come back. This is fun. <laughs> I hope you go to Wendy's after this. You deserve it. I'm going it. to Wendy's. Yes. I'm going to Wendy's. Most <laughs> damn, I'm going to Wendy's for sure. I just thought about that shit. Hell yeah. They don't get me a pretzel burger or whatever the fuck they got over there. They got, I can get numbers now, nigga. This shit is through. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Guys, thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. First day, baby. Are you really drinking a glass of milk with dinner? First day. Your mom about me? Just say you're ready. Delete my number.